with 70 people on the team, depending on who you ask, that can be an advantage, disadvantage, or anywhere in between. Mm -hmm. But if you're looking to build a house and you have seven people, or you, in your words, 17 or 70, and they're all well-trained, assuming they're all well-trained, I'll take 70 people to build a house. Mm -hmm. Is that the right approach? We don't know. And we're seeing, this has never been done before. Right. Ever. This is like, there's not a team within 20 people of this. Right. Right. And so we'll see as time goes on. But the bottom line is that we want everyone on the same page and take it personally. Because here's kind of the best way to sum everything up. What if it does happen? It's got that like Hoosiers feel to it. Mm hmm we're in the, I don't want to say, like, even though we're close to a lot of cities and all the stuff, I talked about location, but we're in, like, a small town here in Connecticut. Mm -hmm. And people kind of, like, say stuff about New England wrestling, which kind of really hurts my feelings. So I've lived in Providence, Rhode Island, in New England, for 15, well, in July, it'll be 15 years. Yeah. That's personal to me. Mm -hmm. I don't like when people say bad things about New England wrestling. But Connecticut is part of New England, and this story could be get really interesting if this small school in Connecticut, which is in New England, that people don't say always the best things about wrestling. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about tourists or anything like that. I'm talking about wrestling. Mm -hmm. And it and it works. What a story. What a story. And that will be, these kids will become legends. And why not? Why not? Well, listen, I could, I could do another two hours with you, but you have to get in a car and go celebrate two hours from here, probably with family. Um, congratulations on your getting your master's lean by example. Why not? I love that. That's good. And I really appreciate you having me coach. Thank you.